Hey, listeners, welcome. Oh, my God. <laughs> Keely. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> God. Okay, this is why I don't start usually. <laughs> oh, okay, we're still rolling, Charlie. Yeah, I okay. like that. Well, I'm not used to introing, so I'm not sure what to do, but Millie usually just says, welcome back. So I might start with that. Welcome back. Um, as you've probably already noticed, Millie is not doing this because she is not here today. So I've stepped up in the world. Nobody tell me to stop talking, which is great. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, Koenig joins us as usual, but a very special guest, Taryn Aiken, is with us. Welcome, Taryn. Yes, excited. <laughs> excited, are you really? No, not really. <laughs> I feel like I've been asking you for a little while now. Yeah, and it's been a few weeks coming, but I made it. Yeah, I'm very, very thankful that you're here. <laughs> so I thought we'd start off with a bit to get to know Taryn. We did it with Koenig when she first came on. Quick fire, but don't feel like you need to say it quickly because some of them are a little elaborate, you know? Doesn't really make sense. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I you say so? quick, fire, quick fire, but then elaborate uh, if you if you feel like. It's pretty much what I said, but not really. not really. All right, let's get into it, hey? All right, let's go. This is an easy one. Where were you born, Taryn? <laughs> <laughs> I should have known this was coming. Um, mm. Quick fire, doll. <laughs> I Come really on. want to let's elaborate. Go. <laughs> let's go. I was born in Queensland. Oh, born in Queensland. <laughs> You're lying. All right, North Gustwood Hospital. Next. Mm. Oh, so Can you must... clarify that's on the Central Coast? <laughs> Central Coast. I don't want to elaborate on this question. Good no worries. Queensland player, born in New South Wales. Got it. Um, Favourite player? Favourite player. Um, hmm. Sorry, quick fire. I'd say Jerome Hughes at the moment. Love it. Any particular reason why? Just love how he plays? Yeah, just enjoy how he plays. Love it. All right, dream, dream job besides from footy? Uh, <laughs> Keely's assistant coach. <laughs> Tick. She, she knows what to say. Let's you know? elaborate on that. Okay. Keely's got this um, elaborate plan for our all of our futures. Well, mainly my future. Yeah, her future, <laughs> but it requires... <laughs> Requires she's, us. And she's been telling all of us that we're all her assistant coach. No, not all of you. You've all got specific <laughs> roles. They're on trial at the moment, pretty much. What am I again? You've got a couple. You've got a couple roles. I really think you're like well being. Um, <laughs> you're a liar. That, that is not, not what you have told me. me. Yeah, we're, we're a part time organisation, unfortunately. So you're going to have a few fingers in we're pies. We're going to be okay? full time by the full time, time you're ahead. Full coach. time. Okay, well, I've given you two options. I said forwards coach or well being, but. You have never told me well-being. No, that's I haven't heard that. Oh, I've been thinking about that lately. <laughs> and then what was Millie? Oh, Millie is blue shirt. Blue shirt. <laughs> because she, she can't blue commit. Shirt. Yeah, she can't commit. She's got too many kids. It's a bit hard. <laughs> a lot going on in her life. I just needed to rock up on game day and get the best out of everybody. Taryn is recruitment slash halves specifically coach. She'll be very, very good with the kicking. So... That's well back to Taryn. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> back Rapid to Taryn. Back question. to Taryn. Next right. question. If you had to change your name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Keely's written these questions down. If you had to change your name, what would you change it to? Uh, First name. I First love this name. question. I don't know. I've never really thought of that. I don't know. <laughs> what would you change it to? <laughs> Clearly well, there's something yeah. in your brain that you no, would change it to. to I just thought it was an interesting question. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. I can say Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Ew. Ew. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay. What actress would you have play you in an autobiography? I don't really know actresses. I told you you should have prepared me for these questions. Oh, I did. I, I'm denied. Should I send these through? Should I not? It just defeats the purpose of quick file. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, moving on then. I'm trying really hard. It's okay. This one, surely. Favourite game you've ever played? A footy? Yeah. Mm. Or any game, mm. any sporting game. I am going to say touchy subject here. Origin game three this year. That was nice. Okay. Cool, you saw. Yeah, I didn't think that would be the answer. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that was, it was a good game. It was a good game. Would have obviously been better if we won, but I get why that's your favourite. Okay, we've also spoken about this. We've had our guesses of what you'd say. <laughs> Death row meal. Death row meal? Yeah. Like my last meal. Your last meal. 
Um, I'm going to say tacos. Tacos. Okay. Millie said you would have pulled pork tacos. I said you would have a Macca's cheeseburger. Macca's cheeseburger. Are you serious? I had chicken nuggets. <laughs> wow. Okay. Millie was close. I'd have pulled beef tacos. Oh. But right. Millie wins. Okay. This is shocking. A cheeseburger. Oh, come nuggets. on. You've got Are a you diet serious? of a six You have those every week. Well, if this is my last meal on earth, you reckon I'm going to have. Chicken nuggets or a cheeseburger. Yeah, your basic as. Wow. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> wow. Literally. Well, the other day Taryn was coming over for dinner. We're like, oh, what do you want? She's like, oh, I eat most things, but she doesn't. A complete lie. And then she goes, we were talking about tacos. We're like, oh, we'll just do tacos. She goes, well, you better get the slow cooker on then. <laughs> 12 hour slow cook, beef pulled. Very fussy, my friend. Extremely fussy. Look, I'm not that fussy. You actually said that yesterday that I surprised you. Because I think you think the worst, but I'm not that fussy. Okay. She orders a seasoned salad. Like, <laughs> okay, this is in Bali. This is different. A literal Caesar salad <laughs> pulls out all of the greens. So, like, <laughs> literally the salad. What else do you pull out? The egg? No, I ate the I ate croutons. No, she, all she ate was croutons and bacon, wasn't it? <laughs> I had the eggs. And the sauce. Eggs, croutons, bacon, oh, sauce, wow, and the chicken. <laughs> took out. And then has the nerve to say she eats Caesar salad. <laughs> on to the next. Moving on to our favourite part, the footy chat. What's been happening last round, hasn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's, we had some um, high scoring games, a lot happening. Um, we got a win, which was yes, that happy works. about. Yes, it was actually emergency services round. Taryn had a very good game, got the player of the match. Nice, Taryn. <laughs> scored a very similar try to last year as well, actually, mm, against Canberra. Actually, that's true. I was thinking about that. I didn't think of that. The full length try, yeah. if you didn't see it. I no really thought you were getting <laughs> taken about 20 metres. I thought I was getting mowed down. But kept running. Mm. Kept running, got away from it. I was literally 10 metres from the tri- <laughs> like the other try line doing Achille Joseph from last year, both fingers crossed going, <laughs> she better get there because I cannot get there. I'm nowhere near you. Um, I think I've told oh. everyone probably six times <laughs> since the game that that's my try assist. Yeah, um, you're literally claiming the try assist. Yeah, I'm because still she- claiming. Well, I, we're on the line, defending the line. I see Z getting ready to kick in goal. I'm standing underneath the post and I said, well, I'm not going to get this. I turned to Taryn and I said, Taryn, she's kicking in, in behind the post. Yeah. It's and when she kicks, Taryn comes out. <laughs> okay. I know what you're going to say. Literally Taryn's Tar- job. It's yeah. literally my job. Yeah, but I'm just giving her another tip. You okay. know, she could have forgotten. Just making sure I get there a little anyway, bit. Anyway, she comes in, scoops up the ball, runs the full field. My trash. <laughs> not Z's, mine. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that actually brings us to my Westpac's red zone moment. You know what? There's lots of good moments on that game in particular, but my red zone, which is for the listeners who don't know, um, the 10 metre zone, was Taryn getting over the try line three <laughs> times but only scoring one. Okay, it was, yeah. Please yeah. please um, tell the listeners how that met. How that happened? I actually have no idea. I've never dropped the ball so many times over the line in my life. Twice in one game. Twice in one game. That's a record. It's actually pretty embarrassing. I mean, and Jazz, we had three. We did three, three, three drop balls over the line. <laughs> I know what we'll be doing for the training this yeah, hour. Putting the ball down. Yeah. Yeah. It's a low grade <laughs> in my career. <laughs> you know what? If I got over the line three tri- times in one game, I'd just be happy with that. That is actually <laughs> What, ridiculous. you wouldn't be embarrassed that you dropped the ball twice? <laughs> I just think the second time it was a bit ridiculous. <laughs> you don't. Like, oh, I was it. really confused at what was happening. You walked right. yourself over I the line and then tried scoring, to jump. And then I thought times were scoring and then the ball ended up with my hands and I was like, oh, oh what do I do here? Well, usually when you offload to someone, you're obviously not in a scoring position and that's exactly what I did. Yeah. Well, anyways, anyway, look, you live in your land, don't you? We'll fix it up this mm. week and be better for this weekend. Yes. Um, Back to the other teams mm. though. It's enough about us. Um, there was a massive log jam at the end of last round with about six or seven of us, of us teams all in the same points. That has obviously separated a little bit. There's still um, six teams within two points, so really anybody's contest. Um, more on this round, there was a lot of injury and suspensions. What, what do you think's <laughs> happening there, Taryn? With the injuries? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. It's wild. I think 
we definitely need bigger squad sizes or our development players have to be able to just come in without an exemption Mm -hmm. because yeah that's crazy actually we have we had what 18 fit players this weekend Mm -hmm. that just went Mm -hmm. now Millie's suspended down to 17 yeah (laughs) (laughs) little cry for help yeah, <laughs> yeah, very true, and we're not the only team, obviously going no, through that. Yeah, Literally I think every lots team of teams because that are in the same boat. Is it um, if you're a development mm-hmm. and you need you need an exemption for each game? It's not just you get one and then you can play the whole yeah, season. No. Is it each game? Yeah, is each game you've got to get. Which is crazy because yeah, I feel like we're not the only ones that have been hit with you know suspensions and injuries. I know suspensions are on us, but still, like yeah. With all the injuries that's happening, we no one really has enough players to go around, really. Um, but yeah, something to fix up for next season. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think about that with the exemptions because sometimes they do get denied. Yeah. Um, depending on positions and whatnot, so definitely bigger squads. Hey. Yeah, definitely need bigger squads going forward. Yeah. So last bit about this past round that's just gone through. Um, it's coming out yesterday that Jamie Soward will no longer be the NRLW coach at the Dragons next year. And um, it looks like from his social media that he's actually decided to finish up where it's at now and um, let the girls get a new coach. It's the first time it's really happened in the NRLW, hey? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I just um, feel for the girls having to Get a new coach, learn a whole new, probably whole new game plan. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'd be interesting to see how they go. They had a really, really good um, game on the weekend. So hopefully they can build this week. And um, who are they up against this week? Canberra. Oh, Canberra, yeah. 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 Good yeah. Game. It will be a good game. I think Dragons will actually win it this weekend. I think they'll get a new coach in and they'll all be, I feel like, playing for something, like whether it's a spot or just wanting to um, do well personally. Yeah. And as a team, as a bit of a galvanizing, as a <laughs> <laughs> is that a oh, word? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Keely has been fucking implementing new words Aww. every single day. What was it and the she other just day? Comes out with random ones. Yeah. No, galvanizing. What's you galvanizing been, mean? Yes. Like the, coming together as a team. Galvanizing, like getting around a cause. Girls, do you need to seriously watch more Housewives? They have some good vocab. Oh no. my god. <laughs> From. It is. They've no, all been to Prince, Princeton and some oh nice colleges. Oh, my God. Yes. You are insane. Yep. Well, put oh. Galvanise in a conversation and <laughs> we'll see where you're at, okay? All right. Um, anyway, anyway back, back to, to the to Dragons. The, yeah, back to No, dragons. I really feel like it's a positive thing for them that they can get around it and just be really united as a team and I think they'll play really well and I think they'll actually win this weekend and I'm sure they'll be fine with whoever goes in there. Yeah. Um, and going off this week, round of the year. Yes. So as Keely likes to put it. Well, I usually say match of the round, but I think this is the round of the year. Yeah, big round. Huge round in terms of the ladder and mm-hmm. semifinal spots up for grabs. Yes. Well, there's actually all the top six are all playing each other. Yep. So all fighting for those points. Um, top six currently, so Sharks versus Roosters. That's our game. Looking forward to that. We actually played them in the trial game. Yeah. It was not a very good game from us at all. Lucky uh, it was a trial game. Yeah, <laughs> lucky it was a trial game. Yeah. Um, but I think I think we'll all be wanting to play a lot better than that game. And, um, yeah, so it's us two. We're currently fourth and they're first, so that'll be a good matchup. Titans versus Eels. Yep. Um, also in the top six. I think they're both going to be fighting for that fourth um, position yeah this week and then knights versus broncos yeah Huge. big round so keen to watch some footy what do you guys think about titans eels who's winning that one i reckon the titans win that one i think eels will struggle a little bit without kennedy yeah mm. i think any like 70 minute player yeah in the middle is just so hard to replace yeah yeah um two or three people will probably have to do her work that she'll get through so I agree with you, Taryn. Yeah, I reckon they struggle with that, Kennedy. They've still got Rachel and Elsie and Cassie's been playing really well. But Chips. I reckon the Titans win that. Okay, and then the next one, Knights v Knights Bronx. Knights versus Broncos. I'm not sure. Hey, that could go either way. I feel like Broncos are going to win. I think they've really found their groove and they just look like they're having so much fun out there because – they're putting a lot of points on teams and um, they are easily. Yeah. And they're doing a really, really good job. Um, 
So, yeah, I really think Broncos are going to win. Yeah, I tend to agree. Speaking of the Broncos, last round, what about Skinny? Seven try, try line break assists, five try assists. Yeah, she's crazy. She's so good and I feel like she's really underrated in our competition. So I'm glad to see she's finally getting a bit of recognition. Yeah. 100%. That is wild though. Like yeah. seven. What was it? Five try assists? Five try assists, yeah. seven How line break assists. How many score? I'm going probably. I think we were watching it the other night, and Keely heard that stat. She thought it was for the year, so that's just yeah. I literally was like, "Oh, seven for the year? That's pretty good." Like, and then they no, said it was that game, that which game. is insane. Um, but yeah, she's playing really well. Yeah, they're really jellying the Broncos. Yeah, so I think they will get the job done. But in saying that, like Knights definitely have it in them, so it wouldn't be surprising yeah. either yeah. way. I agree. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to our. Next segment, our favourite segment that's here to stay, Westpac's Weird and Wonderful, um, bringing the footy, bringing the fun. So for this one today, our Weird and Wonderful, we sort of mixed it up and merged the two together um, and we thought we'd bring in some of our favourite um, school photos and maybe our ugliest ones. Yes, our least favourite as well. Yes. Weird and Wonderful. Taryn, do you want to kick us off? I'll kick us off. I've literally had like no preparation. I called my mum when I pulled up out the front. Um, <laughs> what? And she sent you one straight away? Yeah, she sent one through oh, just before. What a good um, lady. Yeah, I know. So mine's actually not that bad. It's just kind of funny. And sorry for the listeners if you like, it's probably not the best experience, but it'll be clipped up and on YouTube. So if you want to see them, head over there. Or on our Instagram, we'll have a little clips. Yes. All right, this what is do you my got, Taryn? What, I actually how don't know old? What's, yeah, I reckon about six here. Okay, and what school? Blue Haven Public School. Oh, oh the Central Coast <laughs> School. The Central Coast. I live there every year. Taryn or two. grew up. <laughs> the, growing up is not growing up when okay. you're only there when you're seven. Anyways, moving on. Don't know what's going on with my hair or my <laughs> teeth, but. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's Jamie. so cute. Oh, cute. Okay. Okay, yeah. I actually had some shockers. Okay, that's really like that's actually really cute. Mine's not along those lines. <laughs> I can okay, imagine you you've can... been talking about yours for weeks. <laughs> All right, so mine from primary school. I think my high school ones were worse, to be honest. But primary school, I just remember this one. Oh god! Because I remember it clear as day. It was the morning of. Mum ref- would always never let me do my own hair because like. It would look like the way it did. Anyway, dad was home and I begged him oh. for me to do my own hair. And he was like, yeah, whatever. And this was in like, I think, year three or year four. Oh, no, it was year five. And this was me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I also had the bushiest eyebrows as a kid. <laughs> So let me explain. Oh, my God. Show the camera. Show the camera. I used to have, like, I remember as a kid, like, these rainbow bobby pins. And I was like, I cut my own fringe. And mum said I couldn't have my fringe out. And so I put it in a side pony and I put all the rainbow. I'm so happy you can't see the rainbow bobby pins. And I put all the rainbow bobby pins in my hair and I thought I looked so Can freaking cool. Can we have cool. a closer look at that? That... Honestly, you yeah. know what? I was actually going to show my oh my god, my what is that? Like, <laughs> okay. Kitty, you're What's laughing that? way too much. You're What's someone with the ugliest hair. Okay, I had curly hair, but like, <laughs> what I are you doing with it? I didn't know how to do it. I didn't oh, know how to do it. I didn't know how to deal with the curls. Oh, poor Dell. I know. Did she ask for a refund? That is <laughs> no, mum. So that school photo day. That's school photo day. Oh, it no. looks just like a normal day. What? So how old were you? What year? This was year five. I was ten. Oh my God. No, I was nine. I was a year younger. It's my girl. Okay, well that I was going to show Millie's next because she sent me through some, um, but I feel like I'm just going to put my bad one there <laughs> because that's easy to follow. <laughs> Okay, this is by far the worst. Very similar story with um, my dad actually let me do my hair too because my mum was already at work and, oh, God, I was so fat. Oh, God. <laughs> Come oh, on, God. Show us. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Your hairstyles are like the same. You 
look like you're like a boy's face just with long hair. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh that's my God. really bad. Oh, God. Do you think that one's your worst one? Yeah, it is, definitely. What about the one you showed me earlier? Do you want to see my – I've got uh, more. I've Show got us. plenty coming. Show All right. Do you want me to go from start to finish of like – where it progressively gets worse. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I'll show some meals. So like when mum's first sent them through, she was going, I'm going, come on, a bit later in my journey because these aren't too bad. Like yeah, cute, the black and white hides there. it. Cute. The hides what? <laughs> 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 okay. This time. So this one, I, I'll tell you the backstory of this one. So – Oh, I got really fat this year and <laughs> I wanted my hair slicked back. So I did a braid, um, but then I looked bald. So then the following year I decided to wear my hair out. So I'll show you the first one where my hair was slicked back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that one could be worse. Okay. That is definitely worse. That doesn't even look like you. Oh so then the next year I decided... <laughs> The polar opposite with the hair. Got my mum to do <laughs> the little poof in the front and then get it curled in and out so you could see all my hair. And for the only time of the whole year, wore my summer dress. <laughs> <laughs> this is the photo she showed me last night. Are you serious? They're both worse than that first one. You exactly. You and she looks like she stepped straight off like the hairspray set. Yeah, yeah. but I'm not like that chubby there, you know. Yeah, but, but then, like, yeah, what's but going on with your hair? How old are you and why is your hair like that? I was in year five. In so year five. Year five just wasn't our year, no. was it? And then I repeated year five, had to do it again <laughs> and also wasn't a good one. <laughs> Put on a bit of weight there. I know, I was really chubby. I said that. I went out, then up, out, then up. Do you have grazes on your face? Yeah, I do. What from? Well, the bottom's pimples. <laughs> And then the top. I was a goalkeeper. So probably <laughs> <laughs> so probably from sliding God. along the ground, saving goals. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. That's enough about me. I didn't really think that's how that was going to go. Um, but Millie has sent through some as well. And hers actually <laughs> really cute. <laughs> okay, this is the first one, which is pretty cute. Oh, yeah. That's, like, not too bad. It's cute. It is it's cute. cute. Okay. The next one, this is a whole whole, <laughs> whole family. <laughs> She's getting a bit. The sister shot is so funny. <laughs> it is always funny when they call out the whole family. Yeah. Like, come on. All right. The, <laughs> the next one. Oh. It feels meaner when she's not here, you know? Yeah, you can't laugh as much. She's so funny. You can't. I love you the can little... Can only see one tooth. <laughs> <laughs> piping through. I think there's one more. Oh, oh no, darling. And then is this her worst one? Oh, no. She's still cute, but, like... <laughs> <laughs> Millie oh, had like oh, yeah. the worst monobrow as and, a kid. <laughs> and the hair like really, really short. She was a hairy girl. She, oh, she was a little <laughs> hairy girl. Oh, gosh. Oh, cute. You guys got any more photos? I do have one more that I think I remember this in kindy. And I had just done a project. It's not a school photo, but it's just like a photo from kindy. But look how cute I was. But I kind of look so ugly there. <laughs> you just don't. You okay. don't look like you. No, you look really like white. Yeah, Keely said I was. You look very white. You do. Yeah, like I'm shocked that that is you as a little girl. Well, I don't know. Maybe I was just like whitewashed or something. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't even recognize you from that photo. Oh, no. Stop it. You've got to show the camera that one. Oh, my. Let me tea. Kernick, I can't believe how you look so different in all of these. Really? Yes. You look so Every different. Every single one of your childhood photos. Wow. You look like different kids. Literally. I don't like, know. if you put all those five photos, I wouldn't even think it's the same family. I thought I was really cute. What about this one? This was preschool. That's, that's the cutest of the lot, I reckon. This is probably my best. <laughs> I had a gut, I tell you that. Yeah. It's normal though. <laughs> no, <are> you? <laughs> what have you it's normal. Massive thank you once again to Westpac for that segment. 
weird and wonderful. We absolutely love it. I thought that was a great little addition, the school photos. Anyway, moving on to our fun little game we play. Taryn, I'm not sure if you know about this one. It's called Alpha Bucks. I've heard you talk about it. <laughs> heard us talk about it. Well, I don't know how it goes. We made a decision on who was the best out of me and Koenig to go and we've decided we're going to put you up against Koenig. Great. So I'll be the judge. No biased. Have you also come up with these questions? No. So, yeah, I'll explain it all. Don't worry, Taryn. Don't worry. I've got a automatic generator on my phone. So I've never seen these lists. What we're going to do is five. So how it works is there's a letter. For instance, N. I'm going to give you five categories. The first one to get it right wins. So the first one could be shoe brands. I'll explain. So she's going to give us a letter. (laughs) Could be S. And then she's going to ask us five different questions and the answer has to start with S. Uh, okay. Got it? Not so the first one, <laughs> the first one to go, so say you go, say it's you, Brand. You have to say your name as a buzz in. Okay. So yeah. Olivia. Yeah. And you would yeah. say? Taryn. Good job. Okay. Let's generate it, hey? So wait, it's a category. Wait, what? No, it'll just be a question. A question. question and it starts with a letter. All of them. Yeah, start with, just just start with the letter. letter. Okay. So, yeah. so the letter is N. N for Nelly. Nelly. Yep. Sp- oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at reading. I nearly said the wrong thing. <laughs> right. Three, two, one, vacation spots. Olivia. Nepal. Tick one. All right. Things you wear. Come on, ladies. Olivia. Yep. Nipple covers. <laughs> Speaking of nipple covers, anyway, <laughs> oh, we'll talk about that after. Um, awards slash ceremonies. Um. Is there really one? Yes, I've got one straight in my head. <laughs> um. Oh, pass. Moving on. <laughs> Nelly, Nelly Doherty, ladies. Oh, five. That's not an award ceremony. No, awards slash ceremonies. Oh, okay. Sorry. Things you can get. Sorry, things that get you fired. Olivia, mm-hmm. nudity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Six, presidents. Pass. Yep. Yeah, pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Reasons to take out a loan. Olivia. Yep. Not enough money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and on that. Koenig, you are the outright wow. winner. Karen, you are I wasn't ready. I had no preparation. You don't need a preparation. I don't Prepare know. I don't whatever that is. is not that. enough money is an answer. Okay, well, you come up with one. No, well, I didn't. That's why I didn't buzz Before in. Before one, anyway. Yeah, so. anyways. Yeah, you're, you need it's a coffee. It's I beat the girls every week anyway. That makes me feel better. Why did I go against her and not you? You want to go against me? Yeah. You actually do? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got time for this because... Okay, Taryn, I don't think you know what you just said. <laughs> Kelly just said she beats you every week. She's eight. lying. She's a close second. Okay. Lies. So what do I do? Press. Do you better. didn't even come up with one. I know, I was thinking. And it was hard. Do I just press yep. play? Yeah. And then do a little refresh. Oh, where's the refresh? Just refresh the whole page. Oh. Okay. Your letter is I. Oh, oh gosh, I. that's hard. That's a hard one. Okay. I. Okay. okay. Things in a grocery store. Aisles. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. And that's. Okay, let's start again. Sorry, I'm, I'm using well, letter. I was ready to go. I know. Pass. I'm sorry, Taryn. <laughs> right. Your I new letter is H. 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 Yep. Things in a grocery store. Kiwi. Honey. Yep. One nil. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, next. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> next question. Desserts. Kiwi. Taryn. <laughs> honeycomb ice cream. <laughs> that's oh, I don't know. That's questionable. Oh, honeycomb. Ah, keep going. Okay, one or one or. Okay, <laughs> moving forward, you have to. You can't just say like honeycomb ice cream. Okay, it has to be an actual dessert. So okay, you, you got a sympathy vote. Okay, one or. Mm-hmm. Um, pro sports teams. Keely, the Hornets basketball. From where? Hobart. <laughs> is oh. that actual? Can you check that? Let's fact check. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> Do I get a point for her being wrong? Oh, shit. 
You're just guessing at this you point. Literally, you don't even know the answer. One this is how I always play this game, guys. <laughs> okay. A sport. Taron. Yep. Hockey. Ooh, 2-1. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Places to hang out. Killy. Hideaway. Cafe. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, not a done. point. Not a point. Still two one. <laughs> Best of three. Oh, shit. This could be the deal breaker. <laughs> okay. Things that are round. Keely. Handball. Oh <laughs> damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, best of three. Okay, this could be the one. Um Pizza toppings. Time. Ham. Oh, oh yeah. Keely so lost, Keely lost, Keely lost. Okay, okay, can I just loser. say, I know I Put lost. Put you at your own game. Keely's yeah. the source loser I of the all. But can I just say, what? Grocery store and pizza topping. Very easy. So what? Anyway. Well, you just weren't quick enough yeah. anyways. Okay. So be better. easy. And okay. you would win. Right. I really <laughs> regret inviting you on, Taryn, but... <laughs> <sighs> well, I think that's a good time to say goodbye. <laughs> Wrap things up. Wrap things up. But thank you, Taryn, for coming on um, and thank you, Westpac, for um, a segment today and thank you, listeners. And you know what? I've really realised how much we rely on Millie yeah. this podcast. Sorry if it really sucked. <laughs> yeah. Especially Apologize. with the transitions. She'll be here next week, so stress less. She'll be here next She'll week. She'll be back <laughs> and Taryn will be gone. I'm out. <laughs> Thanks, Never listeners. Bye.